I was a very angry man. My wife knew I was angry. My kids knew I was angry. But I didn't know I was angry. I was in such deep denial that I once said to my wife, 95% of the women in our church would love to be married to a man like me. She quickly informed me she was in the 5%. I was a pastor. I was in the process of destroying my life and my ministry, and I didn't know it. If God hadn't reached down and rescued me, I wouldn't be doing what I'm now doing. And sometimes I wonder if I'd still be married. I wish I could say that my story is unique, but it's not. I've heard hundreds of pastors tell very similar stories. I'm convinced that the problem is a problem of pastoral culture. I'm persuaded that the problem is systemic. We have constructed a pastoral culture that can't work. It drives pastors into hiding. Perhaps it begins in seminary where we've academized the faith and we allow students to hold the transforming word of God quite apart from their own hearts and lives. Our seminaries don't tend to be pastoral care communities. And then we call people into ministry who we don't actually know. We're not actually interested in knowing the man because we're hiring knowledge and experience and skill. And then we allow the pastor to live outside of or up above the body of Christ. Listen, every pastor is a sinner. Every pastor is a man in the middle of his own sanctification. Today, there are thousands of pastors who are living with a huge disconnect between their public ministry personas and the details of their private lives. We don't need to be wildly creative about curing the problem of pastoral culture. The cure is right before us in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That gospel is first a diagnostic. It tells us that every person in ministry is a sinner. We don't need to be afraid of that. That's God's decision. He has decided to use unfinished people as his tools of redemption. And then the gospel is also a cure Every pastor needs to understand that he doesn't have to live in hiding because there's nothing that could ever be revealed about a pastor that hasn't already been covered by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ.